So this generator had a underspeed 1603 code. And if you notice right here, it's missing where it should have a little sticker or whatever that says uh, evolution controller on it. So, and this unit is not that old. And it looks like uh, that fell out of the hood and should be glued back in. Now, I'll come back. This is the engine. This right here controls the speed. And you can't see what controls it because it's on the other side over here. If I can find it. Where is it? Um, let me use my finger. Oh. How come it doesn't look? Oh, there it is. This right there with the wires, the orange and the yellow. That is the stepper control. The stepper motor. And from that side, it activates that. So usually, Generac puts a uh, wire tie right on the wires to keep that from unplugging. I see one back here. And I think that might have been replaced at some point when they replace the controller and either use a used rebuilt module. But anyways, I trace the wire all the way back from that stepper motor. I can't see it from this angle. I'm not going to take this apart. But right on the front of this controller, there is another connector where that stepper motor connects to the controller. And that was unplugged. And because I was in there, I don't know if I knocked it loose or because everything's been rebuilt, if it had fallen out on its own. This has got, see these connectors? They're not original. And I had heard that this had been struck by lightning. So I have a feeling that the connector don't hold well. Either the clips are broken, something. But like I say, I was in there. It might have even been me. But and while I was here, I figured I'd show this. I never tie directly in with a conduit run. I usually end my pipe. I would have this the other way. This end over here, this end facing another direction. And then I bring liquid pipe so that I have a flexible connector similar to this. Because if you look at this, this is an expansion coupling. This is the lower section. This is the upper section. And there's supposed to be a space of roughly two inches. So that when the ground freezes and expands, it can pick it up and it actually goes, the lower piece goes right up inside the upper piece. And in the spring when it thaws, it can drop back out into the ground without putting pressure on the rest of the system. I also notice these little brackets in the holes. That's exactly the way they mount it to a pallet when they ship it from Generac. This one might show it better. And it's a pretty good way of clipping it so it doesn't vibrate off the pad. Instead of clipping it here to the wooden pallet, they just put it into the concrete. The rest is all the same. This rubber thing, the metal thing, all from Generac. So, one last thing, uh, I want the submenus. That's not the submenus, there they are. Enter, 
Mm, history, yes. Alarm lock, yeah. See that under speed, error code 1603. That was it, and it was last default on 11.22. Today is December 1st. So now I want to check the run log. Did it run an exercise since then? Stopped. Wow, the same day? Yeah. Same day it run a exercise and passed, so that, well, I knew that that stepper motor being unplugged was going to be a problem. I didn't know I was going to run an exercise the same day and find it to be okay to go but that's great i like it